and when you talk about the the price stuff and handling those objections and you know you said people that you know you never worked with before what's what's the what's the difference there i know you have a referral right and is it because they already have an understanding of what your price is going to look like and they already have an understanding of what the quality they're going to get how, how is it going to be a different situation for them yeah so the the for people to do business with you, they have to know, like, and trust you. Well, let's just break that down real quick. The first piece is they have to know who you are, okay? Now, if that's a referral, then typically it's a much warmer lead because your current customer probably showed this new lead their kitchen or whatever it is that you did for them. And then it's the whole, if A equals B, B equals C, then A equals C. So if your customer likes you and your customer's friend likes your customer then by association your that person that lead is going to like you so you're already put up more on a pedestal because they already know somebody who's gone to you so it's a much easier transition at that point so the no and the like is there and then if your f customer trusts you and they already you know and they're good to go because they've already been in your house well the trust is built up so much more that it's way easier so that referral is going to have fewer objections and part of it is there's an accountability piece to it all and what i mean by that is if you come to me and let's just say i just have my kitchen redone i'm a homeowner if chris was my friend and came in and said hey logan who did your kitchen i'm going to say well jeff did my kitchen Right, just throwing out like a random name, Jeff did my kitchen. Well, now if, and you're like, oh my God, I love it. This is really great. I'm going to call Jeff or, or let me think about calling Jeff. Well, in a month when you and I catch back up and grab coffee, I'm going to say, oh, did you ever call Jeff? And now there's an accountability piece. So you know, in the back of your mind, you're going to have to call them because you've already told me and committed to me that you're going to call them. But when you're just doing some research online and you've never met the person before, well, you don't have any accountability. You don't have any reason to go, well, I never told anybody I was going to call this Jeff guy, so who's going to call me out on it? So there is an accountability piece, and that's why referrals move forward much easier with fewer objections, but with but like th that you can't scale like that, and that's the problem is that we can all agree that those are going to be the warmest, best leads because – if they're your past customer, they've already worked with you, they love you most likely. And if you're a past customer's friend, well, they have the built trust through your friend, I'm sorry, through through your past customer. But for the people online, which is the real way that it's, it's more predictable, it's easier to scale it because you can do it at, at, you know, in large masses versus, you know, if you have a conversation with somebody who's a referral, that's one, that's one person whose life you're changing or, or touching. Now, if you shoot a YouTube video, you're not gonna have the same effect necessarily as meeting somebody face to face, but you're gonna be able to, to send this out to hundreds or thousands of people in your area that will move them closer. So what this is doing is this is building out an online pipeline. You know, it's a relationship at the end of the day a customer has to buy from you. They have to trust you. But if you can do this at large scale online, well, you're just filling your pipeline and you're able to do it very easily because one 30 minute video to you could touch thousands of people and now you're golden. But one of those things that you're going to have to address is the objections. You're going to have to, or you don't have to, but it would be in your best interest to actually talk about those quote unquote taboo subjects because it's going to get them to trust you that much more because they're going, holy this, this guy is, is like telling me, you know, he's explaining what it costs to work with him. And he's talking about which products are better. Just any of the common objections that you get, if you put those up online, it's going to scare some people away. Yes. But those are the people that are most likely not even close to your price range, right? They're what you weren't going to convince them. You weren't going to say, I know you're looking at a $5,000 budget, but what we're talking about is 30 grand. And they go, you know what? I think I could find the other 25,000. Like that's very, very, very few and far between. So what you're trying to do is just protect your time. Back to last month when we talked all about pre-qualified leads, this is part of it. And this will help you get fewer objections because all the things that you've done already, 
all your marketing efforts are already addressing those objections. So you're no longer having to get on the phone and go, oh man, I hope they know. Oh, because like Chris, you know, now when you and I do our sales, you tell them price before they talk to me. So I don't go into this call going, man, I wonder if they know what this stuff costs. They already know. And what do you think that does for me? Well, I mean, I feel like it's way more of a, uh, I mean, you hear that phrase all the time, sticker shock, right? Mm -hmm. People are not going to buy when they are frustrated. They're not going to buy when they're in a heightened sense of anything. How the, come? It's because of the fact that, I mean, I, I, psychological, right? I'm sure the cortisol levels go up. Uh, it's just, you know, we don't, we don't want to feel pressured into it. No one wants a pressured sale. We don't want to feel like, hey, well, I did that because if you are pressured into it, 30 seconds later, 30 minutes later, 30 days later, buyer's remorse can creep in. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you're calm and you have a full understanding of exactly what's going on, um, that's, that situation is way easier. So if I, at the very least, if someone is saying, you know, let's say someone's on the phone with you and they're just wondering what, or on the phone with me, and they're wondering what this, what's the price of this thing? What's the price of this thing? What's the price of this thing? I've given them the exact process we have, the entire package we have, and they're like, what's the price on this? And then they have to wait to get on a phone call with you to even get an understanding of what price ballpark would look like for them. Then it, they, they don't even, they've been, maybe been sold on the idea of it, but the price is something they haven't even like attached to it yet. They haven't attached the value to it just yet. So you're saying, hey, for all these things I just kind of described to you, this is kind of what it cost. Oh, okay, well that's, that's just kind of, you know, if for, that is going to now take away that frustration. Like I said, yesterday when I walked through all these different houses here in Charlotte, I uh, looked at a couple of new builds, I uh, looked at some existing builds and things like that. When I saw houses that I felt like needed a kitchen or needed a bath renovation, um, the frustration came from me like, I don't, I don't really know how this stuff works. I don't know exactly what it takes to get all these things done. Um, you know, I don't really know what the cost of this is gonna cost me. Um, you know, there's a frustration there. So imagine I'm now living in this home. I'm living in this home and I know that I want to get this kitchen or bath redone. There's frustration that's obviously that's there, but if I knew that someone had given me information um, on exactly what I'm looking at, I can use their expertise. I've seen videos from them. I've seen content from them that shows, oh, this is a problem that's, that's pretty much every day. Anybody with a tub kit, this is a problem you're gonna deal with. Um, and this person can explain it to me with their expertise and I can see that, oh, okay, well, this guy knows his stuff. And then I don't even know the first process right now to start with going for a contractor besides just giving him a call to see exactly what's going to take for me to do this. If I got my kitchen redone, maybe I didn't think about it at the time, which I called someone, but you also got to step away from your kitchen for a period of time. It's, it's something that I think we contractors may take for granted that homeowners are very ignorant about a lot of the process and would love, would love for someone to show them their process in a way that is understandable and allow them, not, not, not understandable in the sense of show me all the ins and outs, I don't see, want to see every single detail of it, but you have a full grasp of what it looks like and you're going to walk me through a process so that I can just kind of get it done. Hey, what's going to, we're going to start like this. This is kind of what your situation is going to look like in between, and you're going to finish with this fin finished product. Okay, that sounds great. Okay, tell me where I need to step in. Where do I need to give you my card? Where do I need to write this check? Like, that's absolutely amazing.